Hi, I'm Ollie. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the CDO Vitrio Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the iPhone 5. So just give you a quick look around what actually comes in the packaging. So you've got this here, four home buttons, so you can choose a home button to suit you. Obviously you've got the black and white, depending on the colour of your iPhone. You've also got this card here for helping to apply. Microfiber cleaning cloth for after you've uh, cleaned the screen with this uh, alcohol prep pad. So obviously you want to make sure the screen of your iPhone is 100% clean before you uh, you put anything on there. And this is the uh, the actual glass screen protector itself. So it's rated at uh, 9H hardness. So uh, you shouldn't get any scratches on this at all. And uh, obviously the worst does come to the worst. You're only scratching this, not the actual screen of the phone yourself. It says it's easy installation, get no rainbow effects or watermarks, and it's completely shatterproof. So uh, all in all, it sounds like a really, really good screen protector. So next thing I'll do, I'll clean the screen of the iPhone 5, get this applied, and we'll, uh, we'll take a look on how it reacts, sensitivity, how it feels. Obviously, one thing about plastic screen protectors is they never feel the same as the actual glass screen. So hopefully this one will feel as good as the glass screen, if not better. Right, so as you've probably just seen, the uh, the application's fairly easy. As I said, the uh, the key thing with this is you really want to make sure you've got the screen clean. Any dirt or anything like that, any grease left on is really going to affect this. And I am really, really impressed with the way this has come out. It's uh, The actual touch of it is uh, it's probably a little bit smoother than the actual built-in screen. Um, you literally just press it on to, uh, to apply it. No problems at all. Obviously, lining it up is pretty key. Um, but I just kind of went for it and didn't have any issues. Just trying to give you a look at the side. You've got the uh, the tapered edge, so it bevels in nicely with the actual uh, the foam design as well, which re works really well. Looking at the screen, doesn't seem to change anything. It's uh, it's pretty much exactly the same. It's nice and clean, so it's fairly reflective on camera. Um, but the touch of it is uh, is absolutely lovely. Nothing like a plastic screen protector where you notice that drag. So all in all, really really impressed with that. You do notice because of the thickness it adds, obviously you've got to bear in that mind that when you're choosing a case, uh, it does add a, a few mil of thickness on there, obviously that gives you the uh, protection you get in, obviously with the glass screen protector as well, it is always going to do that. The uh, the home button there is raised, so as you uh, as you press the home button, it uh, feels kind of in line with the screen, unfortunately I uh, rushed the home button a little bit so it's not perfectly central, so you can pop that back out with a knife and reapply it, or I've, uh, I've still got three others I can, uh, I can use. Um, colour wise exactly the same, the screen looks just as vibrant as normal application was really really easy, I've never been a massive fan of screen protectors because I've not been able to get them on that well so if you uh, if you do go for one of these just make sure you thoroughly clean the screen, you don't want anything on there pop it on, just line it up and as you can see from before it just pretty much applies itself give it a polish over with a microfiber cloth and you're good to go, really really impressed with that so uh, if you're interested in iPhone 5 reviews, uh, I've got case reviews, screen protectors and so on, subscribe to my channel, I'll keep you updated. If this video has helped, if you could like it on YouTube, it would be much appreciated. Any questions, ask below and I'll uh, do my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching. 